Hey guys, it's May May, and my trusty sidekick is with me today. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. How is everyone? Come on in. I'm, we're still we're doing our last minute setup. Nobody, nobody fret. We can't see your comments for one second, but we will in a second. But we will in a second. Get my comment to go in here. Woo! Why are you not popping up here for me, Dia? Do a refresh. Because we there, 45 people are watching us. Wow, hello everyone. All right, so today we're working on these dudes. We're going to make 12 cards, I hope, because <laughs> we're doing this live. Yes, I did this, but I've made some alterations and we're doing it live. And who knows what's going to happen? Stuff's going to happen. Um, I have my troll patrol here today. So if you see a troll, don't fret. Don't worry. They're going to get rid of them, take care of them for us. I have Vinny here today. Yes, yes, Vinny's here. Vinny's here today. What you drinking over there? Lemonade. Lemonade? So, do you want some? No, thanks. So if... I got my good old... If Mountain you have Day. any questions, we ask that while the video is live, which is right now, noon, Central Standard Time, we ask if you have any questions now, put them in capital letters because we can read them easier. But then after the video is a pre... Is a pre... pre what? No. After the video is over and you're watching in playback... You don't have to do capital letters. Then it just looks like you're yelling at me. And people go, why are you yelling at May May? And I say that too. No, I'm just kidding. So, Please, no yelling. here's what we're doing today. I have wanted to play with this um, die cut inlay for the longest time. But I have not had any dies that work really well for the size of my cards. Um, I have some circle dies, but they get too big too fast. And this works really well. The dies I'm going to use today are Brutus Monroe, which we just got in the store. Look at this. This is the circle set. First off, let me tell y'all something about Christopher that I'm in love with. This is a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dies for $14.99, and they're stitched circles. He's got stitched tags. We got these in the store too. He's got stitched squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen ninety nine for eight of these. And they're big. This one's like more than four inches, the biggest one. And then the little one's a little over one inch. I'm not going to use the squares of the tags today. I'm going to use those circles. What a great price. We love Christopher for that. That's awesome. We love it. So. And those are, are live in the store now, right? They are now. Sure enough. And I have ovals coming and stars in two weeks. They're on order. Look, I want to show you up close. So you see the stitches? One thing I like about the stitches <laughs> is they're not perfectly placed stitches. There's kind of a pattern. It's a little different to give you a little something different. See how they're not perfect little, you know, one stitch. They kind of have a pattern. I think it's cool. So we're going to, I wanted to show you these so you could see how we're going to do it. And I've tried to, I've tried to make this so you can do this real simple. Okay. So I'm going to show you the supplies you need and then I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something. Just hang can on I, with me. Can I answer Vinny Vittle question? Go for it. Vinny's Vittle is coming back. Yes, 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 yes. Wednesday, we have a designer coming here to um, give us some ideas about how to set the set for Vinny's Vittles. Not give us ideas. I'm going to make her do it. <laughs> and then we'll be ready to rock. It's actually going to be really cool. It's my cousin, whose name is Holly, and she has an Instagram account, which I don't want to share with you just yet because I have to ask her permission first. But if she lets me, we might can get her to do kind of an Instagram story as she goes. And oh, they could cool. watch it. I think that'd be cool. And you guys could watch her do it. So I think we're going to do that. All right. Here's what I'm doing. I'm starting with six colors from this Nina 8x8 pack. A lot of you guys have these supplies. So I'm going to show you a, a way to use them. Six colors from this pack. I chose Roy G. Biv. I chose the uh, rainbow. And the reason is... I thought that'd be really cool looking on the card. This was not the rainbow, obviously. This was just some idea. But the reason I wanted to do this is because I can get six circles on the card front. That's awesome. So this is the size of one of those cards. I mean, of one of those pieces of paper. So I wanna show you how I cut this. I took, like I said, one piece of six colors. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this into my trimmer and I'm gonna cut it down at four inches. Four inches is the width of my card front, okay? Then I'm going to stack these dudes on top of each other, okay? And I'm going to come up here and cut them at five and a quarter. That is the height of my card front. 
So from one eight by eight piece of paper, I get two card bases and these scraps, which we're gonna use. Don't get rid of these, put them off to the side, okay? So I did that to show you, well, let me do it like this so you can see. I want you to see how to cut your six pieces of paper. And remember, pick your own colors, it doesn't matter. Thank you, Nina, tomorrow is my birthday. We're having a sale because of it too, did y'all see it? Has anyone seen the sale yet? So here's what we cut from that eight by eight piece, okay? We're gonna use these and we're gonna use these, okay? Will those dies work with a Sizzix machine? It will. Amy, off, Christo off Christopher's here, so if you guys have some questions about um, his dies, this is a great time to ask. He might not can stay for the whole thing, but he's here for the beginning, so I want you guys to ask him any questions you have. That's right. Tomorrow is Mama's birthday. Yep, tomorrow. I will be, She'll be a young 25 chicken. years old. For the how many time? Shut up. Well, not only not not quite two, <laughs> not quite two times. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna use: the six smallest dies in the set. The six smallest. That's so funny because they're wow, not. Wow, we have somebody watching in Alaska today. Sweet. Anchorage. What's the temperature there today? Julia, what's the temperature in Anchorage, Alaska today? She says she has a bad lag. But... In Australia, it's already my birthday. Why are we having cake? <laughs> Why am I sitting here with no cake? So look, I'm leaving these two here. By the way, I want to show you what I did. I love to keep like this original packaging, especially because I do videos and I want you to be able to see the names of things I'm using because you guys always want to know. Um, this is some magnetic tape strip. <laughs> and I just did that and stuck them down on there so I could put them back in there. Did you see what Sue said? No. Sue said your nose just grew. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Sue. Not much. <laughs> What was it you saw today that said, wouldn't it be, wouldn't life be great if liar's pants really caught on fire? Is that what it said? Yeah, something about that. Something like what that. What would life be like if liar's pants really did catch on fire? All right. Here's what I did. I'm going to show you what I did. You guys can do your thing. All right. I took these little guys, and at first I was like, I'm going to make them perfect bullseye circles. And I was doing this, and I'm like, that's too much stress, and I don't stress. So here's what I did. I took them, and I pushed them down to one corner. See that? Isn't that funny? Um, I should flip these over though. Let me flip them over and do that again because we're not going to use that side just yet. So I was, like I said, I was going to get them all lined up perfect and I decided that's too much work. So I pushed them down to one corner like this. It's a cool pattern. We can go with it. Then I took some tape and I taped these together. I don't want these to come apart. They're going to be used a bunch of times like this, okay? So I want them to stay together. Don't really care if any's hanging off, but it can. It doesn't matter. Okay, to the cuddle bug, Batman. Just where is a corner on those? Exactly. Did I say corners? I might have said it. I could have, who knows? Okay, now we'll be able to talk a lot. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and then we can talk because I have to do it repetitively. Okay, all right, so I'm taking one of my card bases. Remember, these are the ones I pre cut. Okay, and I'm going to take my A plate. My C plate watching in France. and my B plate. I'm gonna leave it over here for a second, okay? Then I'm gonna need another piece of tape. I am big on this blue tape, but I gotta tell you a secret. I'm gonna tell you, cause you'll be mad if I don't tell you, cause you'll be like, May May, I did what you said and this happened and I know. You're gonna take this and you're gonna stick it on you like this and get the sticky off. You can use washi, but do the same thing. I'm putting it on my shirt. I'm gonna stick it down to my work surface. I'm telling you, stick it places and get the sticky off. You think that it's not sticky anymore, and then when you run it through your machine, it gets pressed down. So you really need to get the sticky off. Even if you wanted to put a little bit of like powder, you really could do that. Okay, card front onto my C plate. My die set onto that. And I'm just gonna eyeball center it. Y'all know me, I don't do all that perfection stuff. There we go, okay? Then I'm gonna stick this down like so, so that it stays in place. You could use a magnetic plate. I just have not been using mine. I should. I even bought the smaller plate recently. So used sleep it. good, Caitlin. Oh, have a good night. I do hope you sleep well. I do hope you sleep well, because oh, there's a lot to be said she about it. She says it's 3 a.m. in Australia. She's going to bed. Wow. Well, sleep, sleep tight. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, check this out. I'm going to flip this over. Okay, well, I can't because they're taped down. Don't worry about that. So I'm going to pick this up off of here. I'm not going to remove these guys. I'm going to leave them just like this for a second. Um, I got to make this where y'all can see it. Okay, there we go. I'm going to leave them like this. I'm going to run this through again. 
I should have run it through twice. My, my um, cuddle bug plate is warped. Y'all remind me to do them twice. <laughs> I bought new cuddle bug plates, but I'm too lazy to get them out. That's bad, right? Hey, right. um, Hummingbird Haven Ministries asks, or says, should have a C plate, so will it still work? Nope, got to have a C plate, but listen to me. Listen real close, okay? Go to Cricut.com. Use my coupon code, which is MayMayMadeIt. Get 15% off and free shipping and get yourself a C plate, okay? So leaving these guys together, I'm going to take some more tape. Let me put this where you can watch me. Again, this tape. Put it on your jeans or something. Use washi tape. Use something like that. I just thought this was cool. I'm going to put this on the back, and then I'm going to pick them up out of here. Let me rub it down a little bit to get everybody. Then he has his phone on. Okay, so now I've picked them up, and I'm going to leave them like this. Okay? So we're going to do that with all of these pages. Now, this is your card front, so don't get rid of it. Okay? So I'm putting everything aside, and we'll look at those in a second. Now we can chat, because i got a lot to do. All right, here we go. Keep on trucking. I'm not real worried about um, where this lands on the card. It's going to look cool no matter where we put it. So I'm just going to put it on and run it through twice. Don't let me forget that because my plates are in bad shape. My Lord, are the one by one blocks sold out already? Surely not. I know, I just had a ton of them. C plate is for cutting. That is right. That's a good way to remember that. C plate is for cutting. There we go. This is going to take a minute, so hope y'all have something to talk about. All Murphy's right, Law see. is here. I'm not surprised by that. I'll Murphy's Law. This, uh, I don't know how to say that. Renette Edwards says that uh, she is struggling to get um, her magnetic plate to die cut well. Struggling to get your magnetic plate to die cut well. It says, I can't seem to get the magnetic plate to die cut well. Did you use my demo? Did you use my um, video tutorial? Because I do mine differently. So, this plate is so bad. I need my other plate. It is so bad. But we're Lord, we are so bad of them. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'll get them back. Notice that I don't really care where the bullseye part is landing because I'm going to, I don't really care. I'm just going to make these kind of cool and fun and just go with it. So remember, I cut out 12 card bases. So, so we're going to make 12 cards. So I have to do this 12 times. Uh, Linda asked, what's the difference between the three plates? You the, give a quick the A plate you use all the time for everything. Okay. The B plate there's two B plates. You use them for embossing. Your C plate, you use for cutting. So, um, Kelly says the new cuddle bug comes with two B plates. Do you still need the C plate? Yes. All cuddle bugs in the past and now come with an A and two Bs. So when you get it, you're ready to emboss. To cut, you need a C. You don't have to have magnet, but it's good to have it. So I hope that helps to answer. Yep, yep, yep. I should have done this tape off camera. I'm still learning how to make the lives a little more seamless. And this is a pretty detailed project we're doing live today. So I'm going to give myself a break if I have to take a second. All right. So here's this. And then this. See, I'm just putting it up toward the top. You really could put it right dead in the center too. It doesn't really matter. So... A cuddle bug is a, I just saw her say that, a cuddle bug is this cutting machine that I'm using. It's a die cut machine, but there's all different kinds. This is just the one I have. And I'm running through twice because my plates have had it. I have bought new plates, but I didn't get them out. I should have gotten them out for this project, but I didn't. And what am I not going to do? Stress. I'm just not. I'm going to keep going. Keep going. Okay. Let's stick this down. Let, oh, my plate is so bad. I bet I have a problem with that one. I might run that through one more time if I can keep this in. Did I not run that one twice? I don't think I did. I can look back and see. My poor plates have had it. If I wasn't in the middle of live, I'd reach over there and grab my other ones. But let's flip it over and do it different. Do it this way. And I know this is my plate because I've been having this problem lately. I've been having to do this. 
So if your plates get worn out like mine, you do sometimes have to replace this kind of stuff. I mean, but I just kind of keep pushing them until I absolutely can't push them anymore. That's kind of the person I am. Much better. I don't think I must not have done that one twice. Whew. We got a lot to do here. Stick it down. Pick it up. Put this set in a pile. Put this in a pile. And then keep going. Any questions? Am I boring people at this point? Oh, no. <laughs> well, people are just asking, you know, where they can get stuff. And Look behind you and see if you see stuff. my new plates. They're in that box right behind your head. There's A. Oh, did I buy new B plates? I think I did. I may not have. The box right behind my head. That clear box. This one? No, the clear box. Clear box. This way. I was talking and I got myself twisted up. Did you see what I just did? That was funny. Which one do you need? I need the B's. I got two. No, not the big ones. I like the little ones. I have them over there, but I'm not That's sure where they are. A big B and a big C. It's all right. Wait. No, that's a big B too. They might still be in the package, so. It's all right. I'll just make this work. We're about, we're over halfway done. I think. Yeah, I see cool. lots of questions happening. You need it? Are you missing them because I'm dragging you away? Well, I can't look at that and look at these two. This is this is B. Yeah. Let me see. Open this up. Get me a B plate. Let's try this better. Whoops. Move you. Bring the C back over. Uh oh! Somebody was late to the party. That's all right because we got a lot of work to do today. Lots of work. Let's try this again with some nice pressure. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's even tighter going through. Oh, how nice. Art glitter glue is on its way. It should be back probably tomorrow or Thursday at the latest. You say, are we out of one by one blocks? And I go, are we out of glue? I know, it's amazing. I, I can't keep it in stock. Y'all just keep buying it every time I get it. That's awesome. It's good stuff. You can't help but buy it. It is awesome. I think everybody felt like they needed to be like you on one by one blocks and have seven or eight of them each. Because people were buying them like crazy. I, I get so out. much grief about my one by ones. I can't believe it's already sold out. Show them the new thing because they'll like it. While I'm doing this, come right here. I'll talk about it if you'll just hold it in the camera oh, for me. Lord, are you sick? I can't watch questions if I do. That's that. all right. I want to show them this. This is one of the things that's on sale for the birthday for my birthday sale and it's um six blocks is it six count them well how do you know one two three four no it's four blocks it should say it on there is it not oh it comes with a one by one that's what i was saying show that because that's really cool i haven't used it yet but you're gonna see me use it because i'm gonna do a review on them see that those are really cool it's from fiskers it comes with a one by one, a two by two, a three by three, a two by six and a half. So one, two, three, four blocks. And it's on sale today. It's regular $19, but for my birthday, we're doing it $16.99. $16.99. that I love He's this really little guy right there. That too. little guy in the middle, I think I'm really going to like him when I can play with it. But I'm going to do a little, review. Those little rubber thingies on the side, that's for making it easy to pick it up. Yeah, right? they're easy grip handles. Easy grip handles. Read the top. Where? Read this okay, and three, that. Three easy lift stamp blocks and one position and press stamp block. One position and press. <gasps> so that one comes with the press too. So it's the blocks and then a press. That's cool, y'all. The press is that thing that's kind of like the Fisker's compact, compact press that they have already, but it's got rubber feet instead of the, the foam. So that's not just blocks. It also Do comes with the press. Do we have it open where we can show it without you the You can packaging? open it if you want. I'm going to review it so you can open it if you want to. I just haven't okay. yet. Uh, Gil, tomorrow is my mom's birthday. Yeah, it is. I know y'all are thinking she should have done this off camera, but I want y'all to see how quickly you can do these things. Um, that seems so detailed. I cannot believe how much better this is working with this block, with this fresh thing. Y'all see I'm paying attention to not cut into it too, right? Now I'm trying to be all picky about it. 
I wasn't when I first started doing this. I really didn't care. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. I'm excited. At midnight tonight, I'm going to be bugging Vince to death. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Arna. Yep. Okay, so can I hand it to you and you show it? Or what's Put it in the do? camera. While I, they don't need to watch me do this over and over, so I need to do it. You can just hold it in the camera, and I can talk about it. What is that noise? Oh. <laughs> I think we were pressing something. My computer was not happy. <laughs> okay, so that is very interesting. It's really cool. Okay, I'm going to try to hold this where y'all can see it, so don't freak out or get... Because I have to figure out where I'm at. Look at my little cheat sheet. Okay, so you got the one by one in the middle of the block. Can y'all see it if I kind of tilt it a little bit? But you can hold it like this to stamp. Like that. These are handles. How cute, right? That's the one by one. And then this. It's hard to get it over there. Here's the two by two. Again, you can see the inside of it where you can put the two by two. And then this is the bigger one. Get them while we got them because they're on they're on sale because of my birthday. I don't know how long that'll last. And then so. it comes with this, which is the, I guess the placement tray you call it. You this call is it? the you don't need this. This is just to protect it. This is the one that's got the rubber feet that you can press down. So you put your project on it and then you press it down. It's like a positioner. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hey, while y'all are over there, check out the new papers. Vince has gotten to be paper picker outer dog. He has really picked out some cute six by six paper pads. Well, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you those. But um, while you're over at the store, check them out. He did good. All right, somebody had a question. Oh, I think it was, I need to say something to you guys because I'm a little behind on some things. I'm behind on some emails and stuff, and here's the reason. I took a mental health day yesterday. I just did. There's just some days that you need to just check out. And yesterday I checked out. And so I didn't check my emails like I should. And I haven't even been on Facebook like I should. I just needed, like, you ever need a mental health day, guys? I know you guys get it and you're not you're not upset with me about it. I just took a day. <laughs> and I did some laundry and I did some admin stuff. Um, just did some stuff that I needed to do and went, you know what? I'm gonna not be on social media too much today just to give myself a little break. So sometimes we need them, right? So I encourage you guys to do the same every now and then. Yeah, I think it's like six or seven, maybe be eight new pads, six by six pads. You can find them by looking at the new products in the store. Yeah, they're all from Echo Park and they are, I think, pretty stinking cute. Last one I gotta do. Somebody was asking if these always make noise. Most of the time these make noise. Most of the time when you're crushing this through, they're gonna make noise, don't worry about it. It doesn't mean anything, it's just doing its job. The acrylic creaks and cracks and does all that, and it's all right. Woo, we did it. Clickable letters are on order, and I think they'll be in quick. I think Christopher's already gone, but I think they'll be in quick because it seems like he told me he had those in stock for me, and he could send those pretty quick to me. So that's a good thing. Y'all, we're ordering this stuff as fast as we can. I need to order this. They order it as fast in. as they can. Because <laughs> you guys buy it faster than I can get it from... Christopher and from Art Glitter Glue and all that. So, um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and place another order with Art Glitter Glue today because I know when that comes in, you'll buy it all. Now, I'm through with this being all together. So, if you were making it at this point, you could put this away because you know it's a good idea to put oh, things man. up and not put things down. Put things Robin away. It's going on a middle break in Key West, Florida. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a middle break, right? That's there. awesome. Now the next thing I did, because I wanted to tell you all the things I'm using, this is our, um, is it 10 by 12? 10 by 12 adhesive? Is that what it's called? Yes. Mm -hmm. 10 by 12 double-sided adhesive. And what I did here was I cut me some four by four pieces. How country was that? I cut me some four by four pieces. <laughs> They're probably yes, thinking- Yes, Celeste, we are gonna do classes in Gatlinburg again. You guys are probably thinking, man, man, you don't have to try to be country, babe. You just are. So I'm, rem I'm removing the backer off of a four by four piece. And I'm gonna do it this way because I'm not gonna stress about that. I'm just putting this down to cover that hole, okay? And the reason I did this this way, you might think, well, that's gonna be a pain to have to stick all these little circles down. But I did it on the full sheet and it wastes too much. I was able to get 
12 of these adhesive pieces by cutting them. And if I try to stick my card base to it, I waste way too much. So I'm gonna just deal with this way of doing it and save adhesive, or get more out of my sheets. And this is no big deal. I'm just laying it down like this, letting it catch at the top. Then I'll flip it over and, and smear it down. Any extra, I'll trim off. So I'm gonna do that to all of them. But remember, now you've got that center circle exposed. Celeste, so where are ready. you from? Celeste says she's coming to Gatlinburg next time. Sweet. For fours. Sweet. You guys might want to come, or is that what you're going to ask her about? Yeah, I want to see where she's at because she might be closer to the new destination. The new destination. That sounds exciting. The big news. You know what I'm going to do? To save time, I'm going to do one of each color on camera, and then you guys can do the same thing off camera, and that way we'll save a little time. Then you'll get your 12 cards. So one of each color. She is in Louisville, Tennessee, one mile south of Knoxville. About yeah. 30 minutes from Gatlinburg. Then Gatlinburg's her place. Yeah. You can talk to him about what we're working on. We Okay, I will. We are working on, and we've booked the dates, but we're finalizing the details to have a, what are you calling it? May May Made It's? May May's Made It Convention. May May's Made It's Convention. No, May May's Made It Convention. Oh, there you go. We'll get it right. <laughs> it is going to be in Fort Worth, Texas, and it is scheduled for the second, I think it's the second weekend in November. It will be a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We tried to change that up. They don't have a Thursday available. So it will be in Fort Worth, Texas. Those dates. Yep. I think it's the 9th, 10th, and 11th. So who all's in Texas? Who all can make it out there? Or not, maybe not in Texas, but a lot closer to yeah. Texas than you are Gallenberg. Yeah. And listen, you could take a week off for Fort Worth. There's so much to do in Fort Worth. Oh, my goodness. I was close. The 10th, 11th, and 12th. Who corrected in you? In Texas. Oh, I did myself. Oh, you looked it up? I was like, did Amanda hear you say the wrong date? That's right. So it is closer to California. Yeah, it is. It's halfway there, kind of, sort of. And so kinda, it will be in the Fort Worth area. Uh, we got a great deal on the hotel rooms there at the convention center. Really good deals. And um, it's only going to be, is it 109? Is that right? For the 109 one for the, for the uh, two queen beds. So if you've got somebody that comes with you, that's, you know, 55 bucks a piece. That's pretty cheap for a nice, nice. Uh, place to stay. It's really nice. Uh, they're going to be limited on how many rooms we can get there, but uh, they also have hotels that are right around the corner from where it's going to be <laughs> that will give us the same price. I want to go. I don't even know why. I'm not going to do it. Okay, so <laughs> I want to go food around the corner. What's that from? Some show. I don't know. Okay, somebody will tell me. All right, now what I'm going to do, because I'm only going to do six of these. You guys can do 12 I think it'll save us a little time since I spent so much time die cutting. Here's what you do now, okay? I have put all my sticky in. All my sticky is there. This is the fun part to me. And I've got all of my little die cut circles. Okay, you see all my sticky in, here they are. I'm gonna start by just picking one up and releasing one circle. We do not know about the prices for the classes yet. But there's going to be lots of different varieties. Yeah, there's going to be time. options and affordable. There's going to be options. Lots yeah, of options. We're going, to try to, we're going to try to make it as affordable as we can uh, because my mate hates for classes to be too expensive. And let me tell you what I'm doing right quick. So I'm going to start with any one of these um, cards. But all I want to make sure is I don't put the blue in the blue first. Does that make sense? So I took the red and put it here. Now I can go to the blue if I want to and put it in the red, but I can put it anywhere, okay? So here's my blue. Now y'all could have missed a question from you. I'm gonna oh, put it in the talk orange. talk about Mobile. Mobile. Let me finish showing this real quick because this okay. is kind of important and then we'll talk about that. Sorry, so, no, I'll get to That's it. all right, I'm, I'm gonna get to it. I just wanna, so see how I did the blue there? Now I'm gonna pick up a different color. Here's the orange. The only thing you have to do is make sure I mean, you're not putting it in the same color because then they'll just blend in. So you want them to be kind of 
a hodgepodge. I'm getting them off the tape very carefully because I taped these without using really um, loose tape. Is that the word? I actually tore that tape. So let's go to the orange, I mean to the green and put the orange down. And the cool thing is the dye just kind of accepts it. You know, it just kind of lays it right in there, which I think is super cool. Now I'm gonna do the green. And I, I like these taped together because I don't lose them, if that makes sense. Like I can keep everything together really well this way. Let's go to the purple with this one. She probably didn't even think about that. What? Um, There's that one and then this. He hears my prayer said, I see how you put them Auburn colors together. Roll tight. I kind of did think about it. <laughs> you did not. I kind of did. When I put it down, I went, oh yeah. Well, that's some <laughs> ugly stuff there. You shouldn't even put them two Whatever. colors together. Whatever. Hey, did y'all see that Nick Saban signed an eight-year contract extension? Oh, my goodness. Well, there's going to be some... Eight more years of Nick. Eight more years, baby. Eight more years of Nick. All right, so... I don't want to break that to Tamitha, but... Because <laughs> Tamitha's wanting them. <laughs> tell them what Tamitha... Oh, you're probably not willing to tell them. No, the Tamitha vet. bought me this really god-awful, ugly shirt. <laughs> and, like, she expects me to wear it. You're it's so got... Funny. It's this bright puke orange color. I mean, you're the meanest big old, person. Big old white T on it. But I, I think I figured out how to make it where I can wear it. We're not doing it, Tamitha. I won't do it to you. But he does have a plan. <laughs> I have a plan. If I cut out, if he learns how to word, use that cricket, you're in trouble. If I cut out the letters S I N K S, <laughs> and I put them on that shirt surrounding that T, I think that'll work. I'm trying to decide. Let me say this real quick about the project, which is what we're here for today. Um, notice how like I'm trying to not, like I'm trying to just mix them all up. When we're done, they're all gonna be just a rainbow of colors. They won't be the rainbow. They'll just be a bunch of rainbow colors. So. <laughs> you could just use two colors if you wanted. You wouldn't have to Ooh, do. I do need some big blue UK letters. I need that bad. Some what for Wildcats? That's right. Somebody needs, me send, send, needs to send me some KY stuff. Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky. Cats. Love me some Kentucky basketball. Who is, who is it that I call the Wildcats? Is it, is it Kentucky? Well, you try that every once in a while. I think it's funny because they're not mild. They're wild. Wild kids. Where do I want to put this one? Let's go orange on the purple. That's pretty. <laughs> Tabitha said, nope, you better not. <laughs> That's his plan, Chickadee. I promise Tamitha that if sometime in the next 50 years, if Tennessee manages to beat Alabama, that I'd put that shirt on. You gave and her 50 agreed, years? She agreed that she would put on a roll tide shirt when Alabama beats them. So I'm probably going to have to buy her two or three because they'll wear out before I have She to didn't say on. every year I was there. I think she only has to pay up once. Does that sound right, Tamitha? You only have to pay up once. <laughs> uh-uh. Listen now. Don't y'all send him those letters. <laughs> Did you see that? How big do the letters need to be, Benny? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's some love right there. He said that. <laughs> Amy said that. I see there's another Amy that You are so funny. Have I lost one? No, it's this one. Okay. I dropped something, but I think... Did I pick it up? No? It's all right. I got that. Okay. I love doing this. It is so fun to inlay these in. Okay, next, yellow. Yeah, me and Tamith have a lot of fun sending each other, what are those things called? <laughs> gifts. Gifts. Those. Not uh, gifts with a T. Not with a T, but. Gifts with a G-I-F on. Trash in Alabama and trash in Tennessee, we have a lot of fun sending those back and forth to one another. They have way Memes. too much fun. Thank Memes. You, That's there you what go. they're called. Memes. Memes. I have a whole. I probably have fifty on my phone that I've got from different places, and she probably has at least that many too. They have them saved up. They now I don't know about Tamitha. I think she does. It seems like she told me she did. But Vince finds them and saves them for when he needs them for whatever event that is happening with Tennessee and Alabama. So Amy says she's only thirty minutes from us. How come she hasn't been to see us? Yet? She is only thirty minutes from us. She doesn't need to say where she's at, but she is only thirty minutes from us. Well, she needs to come visit. I mean, she might can say. I don't know. That's up to her. And let's just keep on going. 
I want y'all to know too, I'm not really paying too much attention as to where the circles, like, like I'm not trying to line them back up or anything. I'm just putting them down. It's just fun, just playing. Tanya says we are entertaining. <laughs> That's some sad stuff. If nothing they find else, us entertaining. If nothing else, we can entertain. Yeah, we can make a people laugh or two. Make a people. Yeah. We can make a people laugh. All right, red. Don't give me no grief now. Okay. Where's the red going? Hey, I like the Georgia Bulldogs too. I'm a big Kirby Smart fan. I think y'all got a good coach. Our doctor's a bulldog. Fan. <laughs> we don't go see it on a bulldog. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to go ahead. No, not there. Oh, I pulled the wrong one. All right, let's go to what color next? Purple. Uh, we have a question. If you don't have the sticky tape paper, what can you use to place the rings? Aren't glitter glue. That's what I would be using if I wasn't using the, pa the tape, but this is so much faster. I'm going to go ahead and put this green one in because I know it'll work Boy, here. There's an Arkansas fan up there out and hollering, Woo Pig Suey. I'm glad you guys give Vince something to talk about. Well, I mean, we're in the South. People talk about college football year round. Well, while I'm not able to look, they're all giving you something to talk about. Yeah. Give him Tennessee something to talk about. Tamitha. <laughs> what is she saying? Tennessee? Oh, go Vols. Nation. Virginia Tech. Oh, there's that more ugly bug eyes. Oh my gosh. Now the fighting line eye. Ain't nothing like a game cop. Boy, they're coming in there now. <laughs> there's a South Carolina fan shouting out. Man, South Carolina had a good year in basketball this year. Can I tell y'all, it is hot in this room, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's just the proximity thing. Oh, whatever. Oh my goodness. Kelly says oh she's goodness. a Bulldog fan, Mississippi State, Starkville. All I'm doing at this point is trying to make sure that none of my colors are touching each other. Yeah, we, TCU, the Horn Frogs, we went by there the other day. Yeah, I, yeah, this thing. Right? Did Aren't, you try to do it? Yeah, I did it. Aren't the Horn Frogs that? I can't remember. I didn't pay no attention. What you do? That little symbol with your finger. You take the, you make oh, their horns? There's a Clemson fan coming in after me. And these just kind of fall into place, which is cool. Yeller. All right. That's Southern for yellow. Oh, you say howdy not yellow. to Chatter Chops. Howdy, Chatter Chops. She says it'll make a little girl's day. <gasps> howdy, Chatter Chops. Who am I talking to? I think that that's her granddaughter. Thing she said earlier. Is she Chatter Chops? So. That's so cool. Howdy, Chatter Chops. I'm getting down to it, so I'm looking for colors now. So let me do this one. And no, already got blue on that one. I need to save it for this one. What am I missing here? This needs orange. I dropped my orange. That's what the problem is. I've got myself out of whack. Somebody block Kim Max with all that war eagle. <laughs> Don't you block her. <laughs> She's my bud. She's my bud. I gotta have some people back me up. They said you need to use orange or purple. Yeah, I dropped my orange on the floor, so I've got myself out of order. Not that I was in any order anyway. I'm never in order. I got that way off. I'm not gonna worry because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in a minute anyway. Okay. A Texas A&M fan and a Baylor fan too. Boy, all in Texas folks shouting out. This one needs orange. Now I can finish this one because it needs yellow. Here we go. This is the fun part. Oh, okay. Chattercops is Dot's daughter. And she says she's in love with Vinny and Mei Mei. Oh, and you sweet thing. Vinny. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that's what she said. I'm especially in love with him, too. I get it. The final details for Texas are going to be going up fairly soon. Yeah, pretty soon. We're still working on we're teachers. Going, we're trying to nail down all the teachers. Um, what color is missing here? I got so, orange, blue, oh, green. I can do the green one in the middle of that. 
That would be cool, too, if you made all of these with the color of the card, too. That would be fun. I already got green on that one. What else We're am I missing? We're glad that Chatter Chops got to watch today. Got to hear us. I like Chatter Chops. That's a cute name. Why do I feel like I've lost some? This has yellow. This thing's a green. I have lost my green. Oh, <laughs> it was laying right next to it, y'all. Ooh, I lost my mind. There's that, and then it needs a red. So I'm gonna put a red in the middle. There we go. Then this one needs a blue, which is right here. It's kind of like a puzzle. If you like doing puzzles, you'll enjoy doing this. All right, Lena asks, how do you make acrylic stamps stick to plastic sheet or block? Acrylic, like the silicone? Well, or I like mine. Question, like she typed it, so. Well, mine are photopolymer. They stick automatically. We're getting somewhere, y'all. We're getting somewhere. Okay, two more. So this one needs purple and blue. Is that the one I'm missing? Is the purple? Do you see it anywhere? What did I do with it? Lisa, are you talking about the uh, Bible study video that you missed? Nobody missed one for the last two weeks because there hadn't been one. Yeah, they'll be back this week though. We have been on the road. We have been traveling every Thursday night for the last two weeks, so. But we are home this week. So we'll be hanging out together Thursday night at 8 o'clock Central Time. Orange. Royce, we have been married for 19 years. You're supposed to say 19 wonderful, lovely, incredible years or something like that. But you didn't say that, so now you have to pay the price. <laughs> I'll pay it double every day. Now then, I'm going to trim this off. Now, while I've got these here, I'm going to do some stamping. Because it'll be fun. Okay, so here's what I did. I went through my stamp sets and I found some little st sayings. And these came from... We'll be giving the details for Mobile here in just a few minutes. These come from, come from, I took you, let me bring this in here. I took you are amazing from here and I took you rock from here and I took love ya from, this is all from the Mother's Day set. And I think that's cute in the middle of these guys. And so I'm gonna take my Versa Mark or my Versa Fine ink. Tanya Thomas is doing really good. Um, he's almost caught up in his work at school. And the knee is progressing very well. And I'm going to stamp in the middle of this, you are amazing, in the middle of a couple of them. Let's do that one, and let's do this one. These are so cute. If you're nervous, stamp this ahead of time. You can always cut out that one little circle if you need to. Clean this off. Love this cleaning pad. Just like so. Now I'm gonna take you rock and do it a couple times. And I'm doing them on an angle because I think they're cute. And they look like a record. I think it's cute. So there's you rock, do it on two of them. Like so. And then I'm gonna take, oh, I didn't clean that one. Then I'm gonna take love ya. Go. Cool. And do it on a couple. Now I would do this on the other ones as well, because remember, I'm showing you how to get 12 from the paper we're using. So what I showed you earlier, you get 12 out of. But I'm only doing six to save time, because it got a little long. I was hoping it wouldn't get long, but it got long. All right, now what I'm gonna do is cut some card bases. Super simple and easy. I'm gonna take my trimmer, and since I'm only making six for this time around, I only need three pieces of card stock. And I'm going to use white 65 pound because it's handy. I've got it right here at me. Okay. Did you use the cleaning, the cleaning pad over there? I used the scrubber. That's the... Uh, the Brutus Monroe scrubber. Brutus Monroe scrubber. There's the name. Do you have to spray any kind of... Yes, I spray... You don't have to, but I spray squeaky clean. Here's what I've been doing. I do two squirts of squeaky clean right here. I start here and then I work my way down. And it's like it cleans it on the end down here even better for me. So that's how I do it. And, oh, people are asking for measurements. All the measurements will be on the blog 
when we get done here. It'll be easier that way, I think. And I'll link it, but you have to let the video process and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what was the name of the April scripture set? Um, God is for you. All right, so I just cut six card bases because I took six, I, cut, I took three pieces of eight and a half by 11 um, white cardstock, cut them in half at four and a quarter, and now we're going to score them. Okay, the April set is available in the store already, and it is called God is for You. So there's quite a few of them in stock, so you can order that whenever you want to. And this is a good time for questions because I got to score. I'm just scoring these at five and a half. People are asking for info on the cruise, and Tamitha posted the link cruisewithmaymay at gmail.com. That cruise now, by info. the way, the teachers are booked. We have our teachers in place. It's me, Edith, and Melody. There'll be three classes. The classes will be $19.99 each. We have kept those prices as low as we can to be able to bring the stuff. You won't have to bring anything more than just a crop kit, which we will give you a list of what goes in a crop kit. And we'll tell you what you can and can't bring on board for the classes. Now, if you want to um, do some cropping in one of the rooms we're going to have at whatever point in time we're going to have them, you can just bring your own stuff. Like if you're working on a mini album or there's something you're working on that you want to do, you can bring that with you. The preview for the, the sneak peek for this month's stamp set. It's supposed to go up Friday, but I think I might Saturday use it. the 6th. 7th. Saturday's the 6th. Try that again. Saturday yeah, it is. is I'm counting in my head. Okay, so then it's supposed to go up Saturday, but I may use it in Thursday's video because it'll be so close to, to when it's supposed to be previewed, but I don't know yet because the problem is if I use it Thursday, people are going to think they can sign up for it, but right now it's too late. So, because if after the first, it's too late, you have to sign up before the first. You do not need a passport for the cruise. Is that correct? Yes, you don't. No, you don't. Any question you have for um, about the cruise, if you'll email the email they gave you, that's for that'll reach Libby. Hey, Tamitha, if you don't mind, make some notes about all the stuff we need to link below. You already do that, I know, but I have to do the linking and I forget to do it. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna release this backer on the back. So this is gonna hold this down, except for those couple of places where I didn't get adhesive. Because I was trying to save it or stretch it. Amy asked, does that stamping pad leave a residue on the stamps like a baby wipe does? Residue like 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 fur or like lint? You think that's what we're talking about? I don't know. She just said residue. Um, squeaky clean can leave a residue, but it's kind of an oily kind of conditioning feeling residue. But not really. Look how cute so far. I love these. It's very cute. I think this would be the cutest thing to put into a card set to give to someone. You know, I just think this would be so cool for that. Lizzie asked, uh, do you have to have a YouTube channel to talk to us? Nah. What do you mean? Well, that's just what she said, so I'm not sure. Mm -mm. You're talking to us. We got your question. She also asked, do we have any tutorials about Christian decoupage wine bottles? No. That's funny, though. If I did that, you know how much grief I would get about that? If I did a wine bottle? Probably would get a wine Somebody would say, girl, are you drinking? Somebody would say something about that. But, nope, I don't. But I'll tell you something I do know that I learned from Art Glitter Glue. You can decoupage with it. Yes. We have someone watching from Cape Town, South wow. Africa. Wow. Hello, Cape Town. That's amazing. Hello, Cape Town. Is, it's E-T-T-A. Would you say that's Etta? Yeah. I left my Across the Mile stuff in there on the counter. Oh. Going to have to go get it. Me or you, one or the other. Hmm. Or see if Amanda will go grab it. I had a couple of cards come in for that. I bet if you ask them, they'll bring it to you. Some people were asking if we can get mail here at Verbena. Yes, we can. And the address is on the website. Um, I don't remember who messaged me that, but when I took my mental health day yesterday, I saw that. And yes, you can. Did Look you say that. I left my cards on the counter for the Across the Miles thing. I got some cards I opened. It's okay. only a couple, but I left them in there. Okay. 
Y'all see done done it? That's how it works around Hi. here. <laughs> Enterprise, hello. The, city, the Bow Weevil City said hello. The Bow Weevil City. Home of the Bow Weevil. Yes, Roberta, you can. And you can photo transfer with it. You can transfer with it as well. That's how they discovered it. And I was, I've been talking to them about that. And I'm going to do a video doing it. It's not as crystal clear as a gel medium. It's very, very distressed but it's really pretty. And the trick is you don't have the smell of some products and it dries super duper fast. So I do some kids crafts. I gotta tell you something. My mother is doing the cutest kids craft for Mother's Day at her church. Um, I need to show y'all that cause it's cute. Now she just found it on Pinterest. So it'd be like a Pintercraft. That's funny. I've been looking for a name for something like that. A Pintercraft. Let's say we need the oil and hinges on that door. <laughs> part of it is too my part of it is my um my punches so look guys that's six cards now of course you would double this but i did one other thing which i thought was fun and cute i'm gonna do that real quick i like to play with my punches okay so here's my punches and remember i told you not to throw away those little squares we had because we're going to use them and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to use one of each color purple yellow and blue my grandmother said yellow Anybody else's grandma say yeller? Because mine did. Like a package is here. And I'm going to punch out some stars. I got three stars. Some more stars. We'll be opening the Cross the Miles mail just here in a few minutes. I'm going to do some butterflies. Now I'm just going to do this quick, but you could get real specific with this. Like you could pick what you want to do for. Um, for each card, like if you wanted to be real specific about, I want this card to have this and this card to have that. Then I'm gonna do some hearts. Oops, that's that one out, let me do another one. And I'd probably go back and do even more of these, but for time's sake, I'm trying to stay under an hour. I know, I know, some people tell me they don't want it to be an hour, but I don't see how on earth I can do a live craft in less than an hour. Unless I just really, 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 really prep everything. And some got some of you guys like to see it done real time. All right, so here's some of these guys. And this is You Are Amazing. And I think the star is cute for You Are Amazing. So I'm going to pull out a blue star and a yellow star. Now, you could put these on dimension if you wanted to. Um, because you haven't made any dimension on this card. As a matter of fact, let's do that. We haven't put any dimension on the card so far because we stuck it all down, right? So let's use some dimensional foam. So we're, even though we have all the colors and the texture, we're just now getting to any dimension. And then just stick that down. I try not to stick them um, over their own color, but sometimes that happens. Somebody's scanning packages in there, it sounds like. It sounds like the mail lady. All right, and I'm just gonna stick some stars here and there. Let's do one more. We need three. That one will be cute right there because you can see it real good. Pick up a foam dot, put it down. Yella. Or yeller. My grandmother said yeller. She had an R on the end of it every time. So look, isn't that cute? These are so perfect to send to someone as a set because they'd be able to use these for so many different occasions, if that makes sense. Okay, we have a question. Okay. She says, I see tons of people make cards, but no envelopes. Do most people buy the envelopes? I typically buy mine pre-made. I just buy, I, I either get them when they're on clearance or just have a bunch of envelopes. But you can also use the envelope punch board. And you well, can that also- that was her next question. Can you make them without the board? Yeah, you can make them without the board. That's not hard to do. You can do, there's lots of videos on making envelopes. And also, if you have this board, this is the Martha Stewart Mini. I think this is the easiest, fastest envelope maker out there. I love this one. This has been beat to, de to death. But this one will do an A4, an A2, an A6, and an A7. Perfect. I love that. Dude. Now, we also have a question. The question is, or this is just a suggestion. She said, if you did dimension on the circles, it would look like a zoomed camera lens. Yes, and I've seen that done, and I was going to show you all that today, but the reason I didn't is, wow, it used a lot of cardstock the way um, the way I saw it done, and so I'll still keep playing and find something for that. You rock. I'm going to use a heart or two. 
That'll be cute. But you certainly can do that. Use dimension how you like. I like to show you how you can sometimes do without dimension because um, a lot of people don't like to pay the extra postage, and I get it. I don't like it either. So. That is so wild. I cannot believe how we need some soundproofing. Y'all can hear Stephanie it? Stephanie said, my puppies are going crazy every time they hear that beeping you have in oh the Oh, my goodness. It's so Sorry, crazy. Puppies. Put your glue cap on. Sorry, babies. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> I wasn't watching. Bobby wants to know if you're doing a Father's Day collab. Oh, no one has asked me to. I wonder if I should head that up. No one has mentioned one. All right, I'm gonna stop there just because of time. It's five, it's 55 minutes, but you get it, right? So you could sit down and do these cards in a couple hours and have 12 of them done. And these are the ones with the extras, which, oh my goodness, I love how these look. Look how fun those are, right? And then these are without any extra. And I like that they're blank on the inside because like I was telling you, for me, this is the it's a perfect gift starter. This is like, the thing that you get these all done, right? You stack them all up, you make yourself a box to put them in. And look how cute this would be in a box. Like if you did a clear acetate box and you could see inside, oh, so cute. So there's those, and I'll show you the other colors I did. Where'd I put those in? I'm always hiding stuff from Let's myself. See, hashtag honey bunny. Hey, honey bunny. He ain't back there. Here's the other colors I did. So, what y'all think? I love these. And this is a great stash idea. Great stash idea. Something else, for those of you who don't have any of the big sentiments, this is perfect for your tiny little sentiments, hey, right? Love it. All right, so there you go. Super easy. Oh, I wanted to show you something different too that I did. I used six here because I wanted to use the rainbow. Only use five here. So if you want a bigger edge, you can do that. So there is a little difference. But that's what I love about these dies from Christopher's. I could get six on a card where with my other die sets I had, they were too big for that. So love it. Hey, can you give an update on Ryan and how he's doing? I don't know all the details. I know that he started that um, trial medicine that we had talked about, but I don't have an update, an actual 100% update because I haven't talked to Jeremy about it. I was going to ask hashtag honey bunny to come in and give us an update, but he apparently went to the store with Josh Guys, to pick up lunch. Look at this card from Naoka for my birthday. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? And it stands up. See this? And she wrote a sweet note on the back. She's so sweet. I love it. I love stand up cards. Okay. Oh, do it right. Naoka wants to know about Mobile. So tell her about Mobile. Look at this. Naoka, thank you for my card. I love it it's tomorrow my birthday is tomorrow let me finish showing my across the miles I only have two today so i'm gonna show this real quick look at this one this was a happy easter card ready this is because of naoka that we did this she sent me a video and asked me if i could do it and i showed this uh, demo and then look at this card how cute is this right this card is from jennifer marker she's on here isn't she today and she sent me a bookmark look how cute let me show you how this works so imagine this is your book page. Look, he bites it. He bites your book page. Look how cute. Yeah. Ad oh, I hit it. Adorable. I love it. So that's our across the mile stuff today. I didn't have very much. So you guys better be sending some cards if you want it to be shown on here. Because we only had two today. Now there could have been some at the other post office. Because like I said, I took a mental health day yesterday and did not do anything. So I should have checked. But if you got some that I haven't gotten yet, I will get them. Um, so thank you guys for these. They're beautiful. This is Sunflower Wishes. That's beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Something else I love, I want to show y'all this. She mixes, like this is either a punch or a die cut that she has this leaf, and she mixes her stamps together. She's not confined. I love that. Don't be confined. This is Garden Party at the bottom. These are dies and punches and things that she uses, so don't be confined. Mix your stuff together. That's what you do it for. Nayoka no, makes some absolutely gorgeous cards. The coolest cards. She blows my mind every time we get one. The coolest. All right, I told you if you'd stick around to the end, I would show you the paper packs. I saw a question, are you getting the 12x12s in? Uh, I haven't got them in yet. But we're working on it. This is Summer Dreams. Look at that. Gosh. I can't open these. There's too many. This is Go, Explore, uh, Go See Explore. The pages are those little pieces you're seeing. These are all in. This one is, oh, I love this, guys. You have asked me a thousand times. This is Once Upon a Time Princess, okay? So this is for your little girls. And you know what I love? Look at the colors. They're not your normal princess colors. They're very, very pretty. And then this one is Once Upon a Prince, Once Upon a Time Prince. 
So this one is for boys. Look at that. Look at the dragons. See the dragons and the swords? That's cool. And we'll do a flip because it's the boys. Look at the colors they chose. I love the colors. Oh, so oh, cute. getting better at picking out paper. You're doing great. This is Magic and Wonder. Isn't that beautiful? I love this so much. I love the colors. And don't think you're confined to this theme. You can mix this stuff up. There's two different dots, okay? Dots We've got spring dots and stripes and summer dots and stripes, okay? This would be perfect with your, um, what's the stamp set? Beacon and anchored. This would be perfect with that stamp set that we have. Love these, both of these. And then this one is um, summer fun. Let me do a little flip through. Oh, look at that paper. Look at that paper. And then this one is Wedding Bliss. Love this. Love, love, love this. We have a wedding stamp set coming out. I, they asked about more stuff for boys. Uh, we've always tried to not be too gender specific with stuff, but I mean, I can... No, people want boy stuff. If you find boy stuff, some... they want boy stuff. It's hard to find. So... What is that? No, you can only use on discount pre-order. They ask about, can you use two loyalty coupons at a time? Oh, no. It doesn't let you do that. He does a great job. I didn't even know these were coming in. He's like, come here, let me show you what came in yesterday. I was like, wow, because he didn't take a mental health day yesterday. I did. Vince worked. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so do y'all want the 12x12s 12 for those? Because I can order them. I haven't ordered them yet, but if y'all want the 12x12 12 12 kits which come with the paper and the if stickers they have, and all that. If they have call, paper suggestions, can they send you an email? Sure. Vinny at maymaymadeit.com. Yeah. I have to show y'all something. It's going to look really bad. Yeah. This bottle. Hold on. It's lemonade and it's separating. I got this bottle on my trip. Listen, it's glass and I love it because I love to drink from glass. I don't like to drink from plastic. It doesn't taste the same or from um, tin, but this is glass and it has this silicone lid. I do not have a link, but I will tell you the name of it. It's called Retap. Can you see this logo? Retap, and it's, oh, I love it. I just love it. It keeps things cold, believe it or not. Now, if you put ice in it, it'll sweat, but I love this bottle so much. I had to show y'all that. So, and the, now, Those are cardstock, right? The paper pack? These are 65 pounds. 65 pound card stop. 65 pound card stop. Are any of these mine? Like, am I going to get to use any of these? The boy one for sure I'm going to get to use. Right. I know it. We do have a question. Uh, would you consider doing an Easter and Christmas stamp in Spanish? We have a Spanish stamp set that needs to be brought back. We have an entire, and it has it has Easter and Christmas on it. It has Feliz Navidad, and it has, uh, what do you say for Easter? I don't remember. But we do have one. And well, we had one. We stopped making it. Um, I don't really know why. There was no reason, really. You gonna bring it back? Sure, if you want okay. to. Okay, we'll bring it back. Look at this, oh my goodness. All right, here's, I've, did we tell the Info for Mobile? No, Info I've been asking you to do it. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. Info for Mobile is this, Crazy Crafters Convention. There will, There is a link, if you go to my webpage, maymaymadeit.com, under events, um, upcoming events, or calendar of events on the top red bar, you can click on that. Go to August 3rd through the 6th. When you get there, you'll be, or actually on the main page, I think even, events near you, that's where you'll find it, events near you, on the main page, there is a link to the website. This is a different kind of convention. It's very cricket, very heat press, very vinyl heavy okay not not i don't think there's any paper crafting at all in this in this event um we will have a booth there we will be from what i understand the only booth that does what we do because they're not because it's not that kind of convention but because i'm coming to teach cricket they're letting me do that so we'll have a booth there we will also have a meet and greet in mobile at the at the hotel it's at and i don't remember the hotel from three to five on saturday afternoon so the meet and greet is free um, you guys can come. You can not only meet me, you can meet Melody Lane, and you can also meet Troy. 
I'm going to say Young, and if I get that wrong, be so mad. But Troy is the guy who teaches all the Inkscape classes that I just love. I know him as Troy. I call him that all the time. So I'm just like, oh, Troy from Inkscape. That's what I call him. But he'll be there as well. Um, and lots and lots and lots and lots of classes. And if you need to know your Cricut, that's the one to go to. Seriously. They are really, really, really doing a good job. So check that out. Check out all of our events on the... We're trying to keep our events calendar updated. So go check it out. A juice bottle. Let's see. I don't mind doing a wine bottle. I just think it's funny. I don't have a problem with it. I just think how what um yeah Troy too. That's him. Troy too. Um, I just think it's funny because how many the debate that would spark if I did <laughs> right. All right, guys. Sixty five minutes. We're five minutes over. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys said you liked the lives, and so we may keep doing it. Thursday, we're definitely doing the live. We're not gonna. I mean, we're not gonna mess you guys up with that. Um, so we will be doing the live on Thursday at noon Central Standard Time. And then Saturday, we'll be back to stamping um, Saturday. That's not a live video. That's a pre-recorded video. And then Sunday's is Hot as Word in My Heart. Love you guys. Troy Young, I got it right. Thank goodness I was worried because he. Uh, I'm excited to meet him. I've, not got, I've never met him before, so I'm excited. All right, guys, I love you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you see next you time. See you Thursday.